everyone, and welcome to the Vintage Needle Crafter. My name is Laura. Welcome back if you are a returning, returning viewer, and welcome here if you are new to my channel. If you are a new viewer, I hope you stick around uh, for more uh, podcasts and tutorials from time to time. So how is everyone this week? I hope you are having a wonderful week so far. I hope your last week was well. Uh, it is spring now here in Illinois, as I said before, and we are getting uh, up and down temperatures, nice warm days, good for planting, few vegetables that I put in. But today I want to uh, sit down really quick and uh, share with you what I'm working on this week and what I have finished and what are my plans upcoming for the summer months into, into fall? What are my acquisitions? So first thing I'm going to share with you is the finished object that I am wearing. Um, you, I'm sure you've recognized this before. <laughs> this is my uh, purple cardigan that I had made using the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. I'm going to pause this so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to have to stand really far back away from the camera, but here is the entire thing. Um, I really enjoy it. It's comfortable, but not too hot. Um, I'll turn around so you can see the back. It's really long. I'm not sure if you can see the length of it, but it's down to here. And I decided to... Keep it short sleeves for now. I'm still waiting for your feedback on that. <laughs> but there it is. And kind of had a little stark and contrast color right here because, um, I don't know, it was the yarn. I was working with the skein, but all of a sudden it, it dropped its fade for some reason there, but it's okay. I really like it. Here's a close up of that. And the stitch pattern that I used, uh, you can find over at Bagaday Crochet. Crystal over at Bagaday Crochet has the uh, tutorial for this stitch, but it's really nice. It was quick to work up. So, yeah, I'm trying to get far enough back so you can see. There's the very bottom. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really enjoyed making this. It uh, didn't take too long at all, and it's perfect for spring. It's just something I can throw on and throw off. I can just, you know, throw it on when I get cold because my arms don't too much get cold. Just, just around up in here in my, my chest and back area. But there's that, so now I'm going to come back towards you <laughs> and move you back where we were before. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> yes, okay, so there it is, and I'm really happy with it. I love the purple color. Um, like I said before, it's a number four acrylic. Um, I think I have the yarn over here, actually. Um, no, no, I do not. Oh, I know, I know where I put it. It's over here. Um, hold on. So I can share with you how much yarn it took to make this nice long. And I am uh, a 1X size, so I just made it for my size. But this is the yarn I use, the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the colorway Violet. And I used, let's see, one, two, close to three. Um... Three, three, no, I think it was three and a half. If I, I, I think I, I, I should have kept better notes on this, but I'm terrible at note keeping for some reason. I don't know why. I just am. <laughs> but that was the yarn I used, and I'd used a number. What did I use? Number five. Between a four, well, down here I used a 3.5 for the ribbing and then number five for the body, the rest of the pattern. But 
Check out Crystal over there at Bag of Day Crochet to find the pattern. I don't even know the name of this pattern, but you can make, make one in any pattern. And I just made um, a, a long back piece. I didn't do any sh much shaping or anything like that. I just made a long back piece going all the way up the back, and then I made two front panels and left space enough for my neck. And then I seamed them together using a slip stitch. I don't know if you can see on the side there. There we are. See the seam right down here? That's, that's a slip stitch. I used a slip stitch seam for that to make it more sturdy. Then after that, it just automatically took took in its shape, its form. I used a very wide ribbing all the way from the bottom, going all the way around my neck and down. And that's how I did that. Uh, I don't think there's any more. Oh, the sleeves, I just put a short band for the sleeves. Um, if later, if I decide to add long sleeves, I have plenty enough yarn. I still have two and a, two of those. So that'll be plenty. Well, actually, almost three. I have this one, and then I have two more. So I, I have plenty enough of that yarn. Okay, so that's the first finished object. Um, is there anything else I finished? No, nothing else I finished uh, this time. I've just been casting on little things, um, doing little samples of things. I'll show you some of the things I'm doing. Um, but now I guess we will... <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and get into whips. Okay, and let's see, I have many whips, so I'm gonna pause and go bring them all down here so you can see, um, I'll show you just what I'm working on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my back just gave me fits again. <laughs> Take a little break right there. Oh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> oh, okay, for whips. Um, this one here, you've never seen before. I've almost finished it before I even showed you the progress. And it's knitted. And I don't want to lose my needle because I'm just using two little double points. Anyway, <laughs> this is just a little bamboo headscarf. Little bamboo headscarf, and I've just about finished with the eye cord. Now, if you don't know how to make an eye cord, it's really easy. You just take a double point needle or circular needle, and you knit. And I have five stitches on, and you just knit the five, like so. Well, you're seeing this backwards. It's facing you. <laughs> just knit the five, like so. And then do not, whoops, do not turn it. You just want to slide it down, and this string that's on this side will swing around here. So you could see there's the front, and there's the back. It'll, it'll look like a perfect little, um, just keep knitting every row, sliding the stitches down, never, never turning it and purling. But here that is. It's just a small little headband. It isn't blocked or anything. Um, I used Sheila's um, Rosebud Lace for this. Um, if you don't know who Sheila is, she has a, a channel called Sheila's Just Knitting, where she has lots of different pattern stitches. Hi, Sheila, if you're watching. She's such a wonderful lady. I like her so much. Um, she uh, also has another channel called Sheila's Knitting Tips and other stuff. That's a very nice one. She'll talk about life things and happenings. And I enjoy listening to all her stories she tells. She's from the UK, but she's a lovely lady. That's her pattern, the rosebud lace. She has lots. But I'm just gonna just gonna be a little little headscarf, just a small little. In fact, I made it a little bit too small. I, I should have made it a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not following a pattern other than that stitch pattern. But the yarn is very nice for this. This was a thrift store yarn. Um, uh, I think I have the label over here. Oh, yeah, my back, really. <laughs> Got to watch bending and turning too much. Um, this is called Karen... 
Let's see. NaturallyKaren.com Spa. A silky soft bamboo blend. It was a Goodwill find from the Goodwill store. I have two of these. Plenty enough for another one if I make a bigger one. So I like the color. It goes well with my skin tone. But there's that. That's the first thing I have going on. Now the second thing, since I mentioned Sheila, I might as well show you this too. This is just a little sample swatch I'm working on. She, uh, her latest, I think it's one of her latest uh, little tutorials is how to do this little pattern here. And it, I think it's just so pretty. It is, um, it's just a one row repeat. There that is. It's just, it's just a one row repeat. <laughs> Isn't it pretty though? I'm going to show you. Yeah, it's just, um, go over to check out her tutorial. I won't give away all the details in that, but I really like it. I'm just working a little sample with a number eight needle uh, with four. Worsted four vintage yarn. 70s green, I think. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. <laughs> okay, there's that. And let's see. Uh, I showed you this. Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I did to my back, but uh, when I was doing that, uh, my last podcast where I was showing you the tour of my craft room, I had somehow reached down to lift up a heavy crate and I, I felt a little pop in my back and it hasn't been the same since. I'm going to bring you down just a little bit. Okay, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, it, it just hasn't been the same since. I'm not sure why, but it, it'll heal. But anyway, I want to show you this next item. Isn't this one nice? This is getting much bigger now. It's just a, rec or a triangle shawl in the granny stitch and um it's getting to be to where it's getting near completion now just a little bit more oops <laughs> love how the yarn does that and you're on camera silly stuff <laughs> but there i'm not sure about the colors on me though but i i, I like americana stuff Fourth of July coming up. So cool, the cool summer evenings around here. Porch sitting uh, around campfire, um, watching the fireworks, um, going to parades. Um, it, it gets it can get cool and rainy here in Illinois. So I thought this would be perfect. But goodness, I don't want to strangle myself with the yarn. <laughs> but there that is. Big old, big, giant rectangle, or triangle, jeez. <laughs> nice triangle shaped. And I started this way down here. And you begin this by doing a chain of four, and then slip stitch to join. And then you do three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. And then you're just increasing. And at the point, this is your center point, it keeps growing down from here. It's always three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. It just gets bigger and bigger. But I love the way this yarn pooled. <laughs> it's really looking nice. I, I really like it a lot. I like that the, the blue, the blue reminds me of uh, stars. So... Yarn for this is Red Heart Super Saver Americana. I have this one, this one, and one more. These were not labeled, um, but uh, I figured that's what it was. And then uh, one of my kind viewers on here told me, yes, it's definitely Red Heart. So you can get this, you can get, actually get this color right now on Amazon. And no, I'm not affiliated with Amazon or anything. But you can get this on Amazon for, I think it was three skeins for $14, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Maybe maybe 16 And I've used um, close to three. Close to three. So they do sell it in four packs. 
So I would recommend getting a four pack. And if you're a, a larger lady like myself, a plus size, yeah, definitely get yourself a four, four pack. <laughs> so there's that second whip there. I don't call that little sample stitch a whip because it's just a sampler. I'm just going to check the gauge on that and then in the future do a uh, cardigan or something. But moving on, <laughs> my next thing, well, I do have another thing going. I'm not going to show you today because I haven't got to the sleeve yet on it. I'm still working in the ribbing at the bottom. It's that purple Purple cardigan, I'm working with the lace going around the yoke that I'm using the whisper lace. Yeah, or not whisper lace. <laughs> I always say that, don't I? I'm using the James Seabrett yarn and um, Willow Stream <laughs> for that one. I'll show you that in my next podcast. I should have it almost finished by then or completed by then or close to it. However, this next whip is something uh, that I got out of a book that I ordered in the mail about a week ago. And it's over here. It's called Knit, Pray, Share by Lisa Hensley. And she also has a YouTube cha channel where she talks about things. She's a, she's a Christian lady, so if you're not, you know, into that thing, that's fine. <laughs> But I did want to mention her. Um, she has a lot of different things in here. This is all knitting, this book. And I am just working on, let's see, go to the baby section here. I'm making something for my little grandnephew, who is three. <laughs> so he's not a baby baby, but... I thought this nice blanket would, would be nice for him. Because, you know, little ones at that age, they, they like their blankets, and they'll, they'll cart them around, carry them around, drag them around. <laughs> my sons did. All my children did. They had favorite blankets that they would just carry around, you know, until they were like three or four years old. Some a little older, you know, if it's a favorite. But there's that. It's just a simple pattern, a very simple pattern. Um, it's pretty much just stockinette stitch except for the ends. You're doing the, what they call the garter stitch on the ends. But I am using Bernat Blanket for this. Bernat Blanket in the colorway Autumn. I do believe that's the colorway. I put his label somewhere. I never have these labels out when I do I. <laughs> Nope. No. It's probably it's probably in my book, but anyway. Bernat blanket. And I chose the red. I have it over there. I chose the red for the bottom. And then I just came up with the autumn color. And there it is. It's a very pretty. If I have more of this left over, I am going to let's see if I could drape it over. Try to show you better, better color. <laughs> I think there we are. There we go. There's a nice. It's picking it up now. Yeah. There we go. But it's pretty. It's soft. It's very, very soft and you know cuddly. So, Bernat blanket. It's a polyester yarn. So it's machine washable and dryable. I wanted to choose something that could take rough abuse. <laughs> well, how little ones are with those blankets. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. And let's see. Uh, this this is the, the year for, uh, well, not the year, but this is the season for shawls. It's shawl season. And I have been um, working on a couple I started one um, from Crystal's channel called Composed of Madness Shawl, and I don't know what's wrong with me. For some reason, I haven't picked it up, and I got way behind, and I may just decide to forget the project. 
because I've got that Americana one going. That's crocheted. And I also got a knitted one started, and that's my next whip. Okay, it's in this bag here. And this is that high-end yarn I found at the thrift store, the one where uh, it's titled, I Struck Gold at the Thrift Store. I, <laughs> I am amazed that that video has gotten over 5,000 views. It's like, what happened? <laughs> Well, I know I found something really good there. That's why I was taking my time there with hubby, and, and I, I, I knew what I was getting, at least I thought. Now, there was a lady that commented, um, told me that could be acrylic, because if it's really old yarn, acrylic can break, which she is right. That, that can happen if it's old enough, you know, or thin enough. But most acrylics, um, you'll have a hard time with that. But anyway, this is one of those cakes and this is, I can tell by the feel, because I have right here, it is ex it feels exactly the same, okay? This here is old yarn. This is Willow Yarns Dahlia. This is, uh, they don't, they don't make this, manufacture this anymore. Um, this is the color Rosewood. You might be able to find it on Etsy or eBay or something like that, but it's 100%, um, I'm looking, 100% merino wool. Breaks the same, feels the same, looks the same, knits the same. So I'm certain that's what I have here. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm working on with it. I haven't got to this deep red color, but it's going to be very pretty. This is a little shawl. And this pattern is over. You'll find it. And it's very simple to do. It's a tutorial. Go to Fiber Expression Arts, and you'll find the shawl pattern there. I can't remember the name of it right now. I may add it here, the name of it, but you, um, you're you working this way, and it looks like it's all bunched up. And you might think when you're first knitting it, oh, no, well, I'm doing something wrong. But no, put it. you'll need to have a circular needle so you can see. That really helps. You don't have to, but I would recommend a circular needle for this, like she does. And I'm using a number five, Chia Goo five, and there's my progress so far. It's very soft and very light. It took me about two hours <laughs> off and on to knit that. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. It's pretty. It's going to be really nice and stripy, especially with these. Um, when I get to this red here, oh, that's really going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> that's really going to be a lot of fun. And what else do I have in the bag? I've got just odds and ends. I've got um, now this is whisper lace. This is whisper lace. <laughs> That'll be pretty in there. Um, I have some more thrift store yarn. This is the same thing. Moreno wool. I know it is. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. And I've got more down there, different colors. Not sure what I will keep doing, but this, there's a lot of yarn on this and I'm gonna kind of incorporate it with the pink. This is just some really old um, wool and it, it's it's not too not too soft same weight though <laughs> so I'm having fun with this it's a very simple project once you get the hang of doing the thing here you could I took my stitch markers out because I, I thought well I've gotten so far you know down now, all of a sudden, it got dark in here. What happened? Maybe I need to sit a little closer, but that's the progress on that. I really, really, really like that. And, yes. Now, the Composed of Madness shawl, I could show you the progress, but I just didn't like the colors. I didn't like the way it was turning out. But what do you think? Should I keep going? 
Opinions. I'd like some opinions. Should I keep going and just make a pretty neck cowl? I mean, that's, that's kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of looks nice on camera. Maybe I should not give up and it's very light and very drapey. I'm just using uh, sock yarn for this with a larger needle. I think I'm using a I'm using a 4.5 crochet hook needle. I said needle. <laughs> well, some people call them crochet needles. I'm using a 4.5 crochet hook and um, yeah, with sock yarn. There it is. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. I've gotten. I think she's up to row 40 something and, and I'm on row 13, 14, no, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> I got a long ways to go. But if you're interested in that, um, see, um, I need to move forward. It's getting brighter. You need to see uh, Bag of Day Crochet for her latest Composed of Madness shawl. All right. Um, what else have I got going on? Well, I did show you this last time. It's not much, and I haven't touched it since. Some wooden needles. I don't usually work with straights. But these are just some straight needles that my son found me for a dollar at the thrift store. Don't know what they are. <laughs> so that'll be a nice soft cardigan. I'm just doing the back so far on here. And yarn I'm using is um, very soft. It's an alpaca wool blend from, and I do have the label here. I just saw it. Drops Andes. Drops Andes. <laughs> there we go. That's a neat thumbnail. <laughs> uh, it's um, just a wool alpaca blend. I'm not sure what color it is. What's the color? Oh, made in Peru, it says. Mm, 100 gram ball, 65% wool and 35% alpaca. No, I'm not seeing the color. This has a dye lot number. So, yeah, my back's not bothering. Oh, now. This last whip is another shawl. <laughs> I uh, am uh, getting a little bit crazy here on these shawls, but this is why I'm not sure if I'm going to finish another one. I don't know. I'll wait for your opinion on that if you think I should continue in that. This next one is a very, very old, old pattern. Um, this goes all the way back to the pioneer days. Um, Little House on the Prairie. It was Caroline Ingalls's red shawl. I did not have red to make it. Um, I got a good start on it, but I'm not sure if I'm liking the color. I don't know if I like the feel of it. I'm using a Red Heart acrylic yarn. It's kind of scratchy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm having fun with it. It's a very simple pattern. It was, um, once you get going at the tip here, and it's the same thing. You're chaining and then you're doing the thing here, and then you're just going like this in each row, turn down, and, and it's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So... <laughs> I think if you really wanted to make this Carolyn Ingalls shawl, go see um, Just Vintage Crochet, her channel. She released it out and shows you step-by-step step how to get started. In fact, she has five, four or five different shawls on that one video. She did a series. She did Laura, little Laura Ingalls' hat, the little blue one that wrapped around her chin. I thought that was cute. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the Carolyn Ingalls shawl. <laughs> but I think that's it. That's all I had to talk about today. 
I think I showed you everything. So I hope you all have a awesome week. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy the sunshine, brace the storms. Hope uh, you're safe, happy, well, loved, and all, all of that. So with that, I'll bid you adieu. <laughs> I'll say goodbye for now. And I'll see you again all on the next one. And oh, also, before I go, I wanted to mention, now I mentioned this on my last podcast. Please leave your questions for me in the comments because I am, I'm going to write all of them down and um, I'm going to save them for my, ver for my podcast coming at the end of May because it is my podiversary coming up at the end of May and I wanted to um, do a little Q&A where I answer your questions. So there, with that being said, just leave those there and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.